First Lady of the United States addressing Mississippi today, urging you to get vaccinated. The First Lady made this push from Jackson State University this afternoon. 16 WAPT's Ross Adams joining us live tonight, Ross. Well, because of Mississippi's dismal vaccination rate, the First Lady said the White House felt it was important for her to come to the state to urge people in Mississippi to roll up their sleeves and get the shot. Of course, Mississippi is dead last in the nation and has the lowest vaccination rate, just 35 percent. Speaking to a group of local community leaders at Jackson State this afternoon, the First Lady said increasing the number of people who roll up their sleeves to get the shot is the quickest way for the country to fully reopen and begin to get back to normal. Dr. Biden, who is a community college professor, gave a bit of a history lesson on the science behind the vaccine. She urged people skeptical about the shot to remember three things, that it's safe, effective, and free. The White House, our administration, we care about you. We care about the people of Mississippi. We want them to be safe. Uh, I think Dr. Jill Biden shared some very um, uh, critical information. Uh, she gave a history of, of what brought us to this point. Uh, she gave a history of the background work that led to the vaccines that we know today. Uh, and hopefully that helps to alleviate some of the vaccine hesitancy. You guys want to get closer up the ballot? Before her remarks, the First Lady also spoke with a group of people who got vaccinated by nurses from the Jackson Hines Comprehensive Health Center. She urged those folks to go home and call someone and tell them how easy it was to get the shot and for them to also follow their lead. Of course, the First Lady's visit is part of President Biden's push to get at least 70 percent of Americans vaccinated by the July 4th Independence Celebration. For now, we're live at Jackson State University. Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News. Ross, thank you. Jackson State's President Thomas Hudson says it is the ongoing partnership with the Jackson Hines Comprehensive Health Center to offer vaccines to students, faculty, and community members that led to this visit from the First Lady. He says this vaccination program at JSU has been really successful. Well over a thousand people have been vaccinated. Uh, we've hosted numerous dates and they're still ongoing, including today. Uh, today is one of the normal dates. We'll continue to do this throughout the summer into the fall. Anything we can do to support the community and to support this effort to get more and more Mississippians vaccinated. Going on today. In fact, 10 people were waiting to get their vaccinations at JSU when the first lady arrived there. Jackson State will have another COVID-19 vaccine drive next Tuesday from noon to 4 p.m. Governor Tate Reeves also reacting to the First Lady's visit. The governor released a statement saying he and his wife Ely thank First Lady Biden for visiting. He also says he welcomes the First Lady and anyone else to help spread the message about the vaccine and encourage more vaccinations in Mississippi. There were also people at the airport waiting to see the First Lady in spite of the tight security. 16 WABT Scott Simmons continues our team coverage now live from the airport tonight. Scott. Yeah, you're right, Megan. No big crowds really here at the airport, but there was a very tight security net and a hope that the focus remains on the state's vaccine struggles. <laughs> Bomb detection dogs scoured the grounds at Jackson Evers as a tight security gauntlet closed in around the tarmac. By 217, Joe Biden's executive one plane was on the ground and local elected officials hope that touchdown has a lasting impact. And I think that hopefully this brings the attention necessary based on vaccination, vaccination hesitancy uh, and all of the challenges that we see. Uh, Mississippi is following, falling woefully short of uh, national, uh, national trends. I think that the nation is uh, just above 50 percent. Uh, the state of Mississippi is at uh, 35 uh, percent and the city of Jackson is only marginally better than that. <laughs> Healthcare officials at Jackson Hines Comprehensive say it is a constant battle trying to convince more people to step through the door. A lot of people are just listening to social media and the social media is, 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 is sending all of these concerns that right now that's why we are seeing the hesitancy. Dr. Jill Biden's visit is designed to spark more interest in a state lingering near the bottom of vaccine distribution at a time when the federal government says it is offering full resources. Mississippi has not decided to take advantage of the money. And I hope the uh, First Lady's visit here will encourage the state of Mississippi to access the FEMA money. 
The first lady departed here from Jackson Evers around 4 p.m. The governor not in attendance, but he did put out a statement pointing out the state has handed out nearly 2 million administered doses and has dropped his daily case count 98 percent since his peak caseload that was around 3,000. Live at Jackson Evers, Scott 716 WAPT News.